Plus, what's going on? My name's Akazen. Hope you guys are doing well. Just here on Twitch right now doing a, a bit of reactions and a few people have asked me to take a look at some uh, gameplay trailers uh, as we're about to get back into The Last of Us Part 2 in just a bit. I've been thoroughly enjoying this game, but as you know, all good things may come to an end. Yes, I said it. All good things must come to an end. And sooner or later, I will be done with that game so it'll be time to move on to a new one so we're taking a look at some of the newer things that are coming out and this one's going to be star wars squadrons uh the official gameplay trailer don't know much about it let's take a look at it squadron Second Death Star is gone, but the Imperial Fleet is still a threat. Vanguard Squadron, let's make history. This is it, Titan Squadron. Everything we've done has led to this. Finish those Vanguard scum! Ha! Go. This is Star Wars Squadron. Okay. Earn your wings in a single player story spanning Ooh. two factions. All stations! Fire on that ship! Looks and good. master multiplayer battles as a squadron of five. Really? The option to play the entire game in VR. This is the definitive Star Wars pilot experience. Uh, come on, come on! I the like that idea. In a single player story. Welcome to Titan Squadron. Where you'll play as two combat pilots. Flying for both the Empire and the New Republic. I love the idea of it being in VR. They sold me on that. You'll experience this world through your cockpit. The instrumentation in front of you provides critical feedback about power management, targeting, and shields. With a squadron of diverse characters at your side, prove your skills on increasingly challenging missions. So wait, I could get together with the whole squad, I hope. Like other people playing the game, right? Me, Echo Mog. The story of the two people you play stick together will shape the balance of power in the galaxy. Get ready. Let them have it. To take the fight online, you'll need flight time with all eight ships. Fighters are the most flexible and versatile, able to handle any situation. Interceptors are fast and highly maneuverable. Let's get them. Ideal for hunting down your opponent's starfighters. That was kind of fun. Support ships can keep allies safe and stocked up, as well as disrupting enemy fighters. Light them up. Nice. Bombers are the heavy hitters. Able to deal right. devastating damage to enemy flagships Yo, and starfighters. clean though. If you've got a preferred component and need something customized, I'll take care of it. Okay. Unlock everything you need to customize nice. your pilot and starfighters simply by playing the game. From cosmetics to an arsenal of oh, you could have a bobblehead. Your ships fly, fight, and survive. They're on you. I'll deal with it. You can dramatically change your layout Whoa! depending on your squadron's strategy. Finally got him. This will be critical in Star Wars Squadron's multiplayer modes. First up, dogfights. This is an all-out 5v5 battle. Yo, Dante would love Fine this. Fine-tune your loadouts to work as a team. Moving in on the enemy. Utilize components like tractor beams, turrets, and mines to slow down your opponents or set up your squad mates for the kill. Rebels unlocked. For teams looking for an even greater challenge, it's time to prove yourself in Star Wars Squadron's signature mode, Fleet Battles. Fleet battles are multi-stage conflicts. Whether playing solo or with friends, you'll have the option to compete against other players or AI as a squadron of five. Right. Don't worry, I got him for you. Meet your team in the social hub to solidify strategy, coordinate loadouts, and prepare for takeoff. I like this, but the key point is First, push do we the actually front line need a by strategy. winning the dogfight in the center of the map. 
Attack or defend two medium-sized capital ships. We've lost our capital ship. And finally, the ultimate goal. Target and destroy the subsystems of your opponent's massive flagship and take it down. Shields are disabled. At each phase, oh, your squadron either pushes really the line good. forward or falls back but to just the just the execution is the most important safe. thing. It's your squadron's choice of how to play. Right. I'm hit! Speedy, unrelenting assaults. Stay together, strike quickly. Stealth and subversion. Jamming the enemy. Sensors can't spot you. Or brutal bombardment. That ship is vulnerable. Take your shot. We need to hurry. Just make it kind of easy, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> a unified squadron. I get a kind of Carson. Making my attack run now. It Let's looks it good, out. though. I wonder how much it is, though. This is Star Wars Squadrons. Join the galaxy's finest and make your mark. You are the hope of this galaxy. In October, okay, okay. I'm curious. I'm very curious, actually, uh, how how uh, how that goes about. All right, there you have it. Okay, so uh, the 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 a few things come to mind uh, for me. Where's my camera? Where's my camera? There you go. A few things come to mind for me, folks. Um, so one, one. Uh, it looks great. It looks crystal clear. I like the fact. I like the inclusion of VR. I'm not gonna lie. That is fucking awesome. Uh, if 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 you can just turn your head and the tracking, if the tracking is good enough, because that's the biggest problem. So uh, I I like the idea that you can play it in VR, but I don't like the idea that um. You can play it in VR at the same time because tracking is detrimental uh, for VR. I have the original uh, Oculus, the Oculus Rift. And uh, so there's two sort of uh, situations that I have with this. It's the fact that one, the game looks great, but the game will not look as great in VR. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the that's just the way VR is right now. Um, at this with the current Oculus, um, I I don't know about the Oculus uh, Quest. I'm not sure how sharp it is, but I don't think uh, there's a very consumer friendly VR that's pumping out like 4K visuals. As far as I know, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Uh, right now, I think Quest and Pro possibly the vibe has something that's around 2k maybe right now but they're fairly expensive um so that's one thing the second thing is just the hand tracking situation if if i can do a combination of um playing v damn it i'm in my if i can do a, a combination of playing vr and using the xbox controller then i'm down with that if the vr is just for moving your head and shit but the buttons can control like um you know the but i don't know i'm very mixed about it i'm very mixed about all of that because i i feel like as when you're doing when you're playing as star wars even the star wars vr game you should have that kind of feeling of like thrusting and pushing buttons and bloop, 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 bloop. you know what I mean uh, the VR version of the game did that very well but the problem was was like I said before tracking and lighting to get that full experience is really hard to do and the quest has um, hand tracking right now but um, I don't know I don't know so I still have a lot of questions about the implementation of VR in this game however taking that away I love this idea. I love this idea of the fact that you can have um, of five people on your team. I guess the same idea as like what Battlefield or whatever, and you can sit there and you can make a plot or something like that. And the question is, is the ex execution? As I said earlier, are you? Does it really matter if you have a strategy or can you just go out there and bum rush each time? Because that's the idea that that's what I've always gotten from like things like 
For Honor and um, uh, Battlefield, it's like I never really see people get together and really talk about strategy. You know what I'm saying? And especially when you, it's not a bunch when it's not a bunch of your friends, right? Uh, you just get online and you're just like, let's go like that, right? So I'm kind of curious about how all of this works, and um, you know, last but not least, it's from EA, so it's always kind of a flip of a coin whether or not uh, they're actually gonna do really well with this game. So we shall see. Uh, <laughs> ask by Blind Wave for assistant if you need partners. You know what? There we go. I think we got our team right there. Akasad, code name Red Dragon, Echomog or drew code name the struggle one and then we got blind wave we got we got our team of five right there we'll just pull uh eric aaron rick shane we'll get them all in there <laughs> calvin <laughs> we'll, they'll just trade places i don't know in all likelihood they'll probably just play the game themselves right uh but anyways i'm very curious how it works man uh in in october if we all got money by that point let's make it happen Till next time, guys, let us know what you think. Red Red Nation, stand up, speak up, and let me know what you think.